Hello Internet, it's your boy when you 785 back from the Legend of Zelda, the Minish Cap. Last we left off, we did everything we had to do in the Cave of Flames, and we exited Mount Cornell with our new improved blade, the White Sword. Look at it shine. Following that, we were told by Malari, Master Smith, to come to Hyrule Castle to seek out the Elemental Sanctuary. So here it is, let's go. Nice and mysterious. Oh, of course we need a long ass corridor like that. Ooh. This should be interesting. So this is the elemental sanctuary then. This is where we can infuse your blade with the power of the elements. Yes, there seems to be a pedestal for your sword right in the middle right in the middle there. Alright. We just dropped the sword in. The earth and fire elements are moving on their own. Shoo shoo, laser beams. Purple, earth element, and red, the fire element. I wish this was like a PSP version of the game. I, I genuinely wish it was a PSP version of this game. That would be so much fun. The powers of the earth and fire elements have infused your blade. Oh, that's awesome. Mm hmm. Let's see if I can read that tablet for you. Fill your sword with power and walk over the glowing tile. Hmm. Perhaps it refers to those flashing spots on the floor around you. Well, what are you waiting for? Try it, Winger. Indeed. We charge up our sword. We walk over these flashing tiles. There we go. Whoa, you just split in two. So this is the power of the white sword. I guess you can double yourself like that anytime you see these panels. So yeah, anytime we see these glowing panels, we can effectively make a copy of ourselves. Unfortunately, they're limited in doing exactly what we do. And also, if they ever run into a wall, they will disinter it. They will attack if you attack, but they can't do much otherwise. I don't think they can use items. What is down here? Ah, a shortcut. So, left from the entrance. Gotcha. And it would have been nice to show that earlier. Only two elements remain. They must be in the places marked on your map by the Mesh Elder. Why don't we take another look at that map? If memory serve, serves me correctly, there should be a mark out on the westernmost edge of Castor Wilds. So if we look at the map, Castor Wilds is supposed to be this area. So where should we go? If you all remember, there was a special thing in Trilby Highlands. Which it seems like we can access now. But before we do that, it might be worthwhile. Oh no. Interesting, you're the last person I expected to find here. And just as I was wondering who could be behind us, I find my old master. Oh no. Vati, you motherfucker! And as always, you are just in <laughs> the shabbiest of rags. My curses are not to be mocked, and the one I cast on you is most powerful. No matter what power you wield, you will never break it. You haven't changed in the slightest. I should never have created that cap. It only fueled your insane desires. Fool! A hat that grants the wishes of its wearer is a spectacular creation. Thanks to you, I have gone from being a meek, minuscule nothing to the greatest sorcerer alive. You cannot stop me now, and I have you to thank for it. Accept this small gesture of gratitude from me. Wait, Vati, wait! Well, Link lost our own sword, and we get trapped. Ooh, Moldens. I was gonna say it might be worthwhile to do some kinstone fusion in Tom, but apparently, this is a thing.
which I clean forgot about. That fall of Artie, what could he be scheming now? Wait here, I feel I owe you an explanation of what has happened. You see, Varty and I have worked Minish. I was once a, a famous sage, and a renowned Minish craftsman. Varty was only a boy when I took him on as my apprentice. But, he became enchanted by the wickedness in the hearts of men. One day, Varty took a hut I made for the humans, and my pride and joy. It granted the wishes of its wearer. He put it on without permission. Flashback time! Look at this guy, he invented a whole button. And also a hat. Fazi, what are you doing there? Even as a kid, this galaxy old. Oh, what a vile form you've taken. He just aged himself up. Vile? I am a sorcerer now, and my power is beyond compare. No longer will I tire away as your apprentice. Now all shall call me master. Why, Varty, what are you plotting? This year, on the day that comes but once a century, the portal opens. And when it does, I shall claim the light force as my own. I will be transformed, perfect, and there will be none who can stop me. Oh boy, Shadow Ball! <laughs> Gah! Everyone just gets cursed with Shadow Balls in this game. And as you can see, Ezra became a hot. Tell me, how does it feel, my sorcerer's curse? Do you see, Ezlo? I am truly your master now, and you cannot stop me. And with that, I must be leaving. Well, You know the legends, of course, the gifts the Picori gave the humans. What you call the Picori Blade was the first of those gifts. The second, well, you call it Light Force, but it is a source of limitless magical power. If Varty were to get it now, it would be devastating. I came to the world of men hoping to stop Varty, and I met you in the woods. But it seems you won't be breaking the curse on me anytime soon. However, with the sacred blade, we can certainly restore Princess Zelda. I'm sorry. All that has happened has been due to my own pride, my folly. I must rely on you, on your power, until we put an end to Varty. Well, we're hearing enough fairy tales. We must search for the next element. Well, that's a fun thing. Actually, I believe there is stuff we need to do in town, but yeah. Now that you know, Ezlo is a Minish, and he's a cop. You think that's why this game is called the Minish Cop? Or do you think it's called the Minish Cop because the cop, the cop made by the Minish named Ezlo, is the thing that gives Fati power? And that's why this game is called the Minish Cop. Ooh. Uh, a good bit of this episode might turn out to be me running around fusing against stones. But who knows? Ooh. Ooh! I like this. Behold our first golden enemy. It's a golden rope. Golden enemies, with that symbol on the map, are a lot stronger and tougher than their normal counterparts, but they also re reveal great rewards. Thank you, postman, you did nothing. Ooh, actually. At this time, is this open? No, damn it. Over here. Ah, if I'm not mistaken. I remember the order of events I need to proceed through, but also I don't want to do it yet. <laughs> I just would rather do anything else. A boomerang. That could be nice. 300 rupees, I'm 6 short. Trouble. <sighs> How unfortunate. Aside from that... Actually, let's check Swiftblade. Hey Swiftblade, I got a new sword. Fantastic, and he seems to have acquired new skills with it. Yes, I am ready to train you again, young swordsman. So, will you accept this new training? Hell yeah! The Rock Breaker. That is the technique. Oh boy. Swing your sword to break pots. Actually, that's all there is. 
<laughs> so yeah, if in, in case you were wondering how we would learn to break pots in this game, yeah, we can actually swing our sword to break pots. It's just you need to do this first. You simply need to upgrade your sword. I am honestly not sure if you need the regular uh, white sword or if you need the upgraded white sword. Shots of pulse some pulverized bowls with a single blue. The other thing though, come again when you learn to run like the wind. So he has another technique for us. We would do well to remember that. For now though, I want to check my kinstone bag. No. Ah, uh, this is unfortunate. What to do, what to do. I'm honestly thinking of just running around using kinstones with everyone. This boy's name Lolly is a girl next to him named Lolly. Lolly and Lolly said in the tree. There's a chest I want to loot. Wonderful. I suppose for now we should do quote unquote sorry progress so that no one thinks I'm trying to slack out. If we head down here, the old a rock we cannot push and glimmering, glimmering spots on the ground. So let's charge up. Unlike this one attack, you'll need to wait for that for that gauge under your health to be full before you can use this, whatever you want to call it. And with that, we've entered a new area. Well, I see a new, but it's just another part of the Trilby Islands. Lots rocks in our way. Alright, what's in the cave? Just a chest? I can deal with just a chest. You bastard. That one piece had to ruin my day. It knew. Kinstone piece, nice. So, don't mind me. I'm gonna be checking oh, every time we get a red kinstone until we get a particular one. And you'll see why later. <laughs> There's actually no point if I tell you without doing it. Or without having it. Also, we seem to have capped at 300 rupees. Oh, fuck. Uh, what to do? We can't go back this way. Alright, we're capped at 300 rupees. Kill everything in our way. Is there a castle entrance down here? Ooh. Cutscene. The person would? Eh? What a strange feeling. I sense something from the castle's direction. Or was it just me? Oh, what's going on in the castle? Oh no, that's a shut up. <laughs> what? Nani? Hmm? Who's there? What? Vati? How did you get in here? Oh, well, you see. <laughs> the Shadow Transmission. <laughs> it's like instant transmission, but evil. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. So, something terrible has happened to the king. It looks like you're all here very well. The king of Hyrule has words for you. You all know of the Picori the You all know of the power the Picori gives to mankind, do you not? The golden light force of limitless magical power. I want it! It is somewhere here in Hyrule. Go now and bring me this power. And everyone during was like, what the fuck? 
What do you want? Waste no time. Go forth at once and bring me the light force. Fling anyone who refuses into the dungeon. Him and his family too. I'm gonna block me like that. I will tolerate no disobedience. Now search high and low throughout the lands of Hyrule. Yeah, with a trap like that, nobody's gonna fight that. Mm, maybe it's just the wind. But I hope nothing bad has happened. Anyway, we need to look for the next element. The map says it should be around here somewhere. Fucking crows. Uh, okay, I'm getting the feeling I'm a bit too low to go up into Castle Town. Well, Hyrule Town. Where is it? Yeah, I need to bomb this wall, don't I? While I do that, tell entrance. I'll open that entrance. Jeez, I can't English. Then again, I never can English. You guys are used to it, right? I mean, I'll take for a healing, thank you. Nice and convenient. I have a phrase pond there. Phrase pond. Bleh. <laughs> I don't know why. Like, I just woke up and re decided to record, and I don't know why. I can't English. <gasps> Beetle! Why, hello there! Thanks for coming by. I sell all kinds of Pico Light. I just put it in your bottle, and good stuff happens when you drink it. <sighs> Pico Light. We need to fuse skin stones. Okay. White Pico Light is for people who want to get lucky. It makes it easier for you to find kinstone pieces. 200 rupees for some. Red Pico Light will make your quest so much easier. It makes it easy to find hearts. 200 rupees. And I think Green Pico Light is for the most serious of collectors. It makes it easier for you to find mysterious shells. So for the people who thought it was rupees. Nope. 200 rupees. I wish. I only wish. Also, I'm getting this one wrong. My wallet is full, so yeah. I'll take it. I hate that you made me buy this, but I I'll take it. Let's walk back in and see what else is there. How much for this? The big bomb bog is a bog and that's 600 rupees. I can't afford that. Yeah. Wait, 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 come here. Come here, you fucker. Come here, you fucker. Oh. Cut you off. He has it! Yes! Hinson Fusion, let's go. The Postman! <laughs> I'm sorry I'm getting so excited over this. But the Postman is very important. This is gonna cost us more rupees in the long run, but it, it, it is incredibly important. I really wish I could do more to help people. Wait, I've got it! I'll ask swiftly to start up a newsletter for adventurers. That would be a great way to provide a, a useful service for everyone. Hmm, it's gonna be a lot of work though. I should get Marcy to help me. Nice. So, this icon looks like a person holding out a hand. That is what it shows when people show up to do things. What do you say? Super delivery ball or something? Yeah, okay. So, like the postman in the um, post office said, he's gonna get Marcy to help out. Which means if we go there now, we'll be, we'll be able to meet her. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. I can't English. Empty house, unfortunate. <gasps> Andrew? Oh no, this is horrible! My cuckoos have gotten out. Can you catch them for me? I'll help. Try to catch two in 25 seconds, please. And you can't go into buildings or leave town. Oh, this is a fun thing. Save. 
Do I want to catch a third one? Can I catch a third one? No, 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 no. Ah, uh, well. I did catch it too, so that's good. Thanks, here's your reward. Ten mysterious shells. Ah, uh, worth us. Sixty rupees, I'll take that. Doesn't it feel good to help others? It feels great. Buggity buggity boo! Did I scare you? Yeah, this is just a ghost. <laughs> Don't ask why there's a ghost here. It's a ghost. He's there. Dog. Uh, it's, the... it's open. Hi there, and welcome to Happy Heart. To the Happy Heart. Near us, kid? Well, we can take care of that and even turn a present to boot. Forget it. 50 rupee room, 200 rupee room, and 400 rupee room. I wish. <laughs> I wish it was worth it. But it is kinda, actually. It doesn't really matter what kind of rest. This is, I believe, 200. This should be 400. And this would be 50. Yeah, you see this empty chest? Once you pay for the night, or a night, they will open up. Or I should say, close up. And half stuff in them, basically. Kinstone pieces. Which is exactly what I meant. <laughs> the, the, the presents they give you are kinstone pieces. Hey? Eh? Shit. Unfortunate. <gasps> the girls! Staying in this inn forever would start to be a bother. It's so nice to be here at last in such a big town it is. We need to find a nice quiet place where we can self alone. So these girls are Din, Nehru and Fio. Thank you for the kinsome beast. They are sort of like the goddesses of Hyrule. They are supposed to be a quote unquote representation of the tree goddesses. You fuse. All the way down, thank you. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> like, I don't know why I'm obsessing over this when I really shouldn't be. Chests in the top right. Yes, I knew it. This is just me being obsessive and I don't know why. It's not good. <laughs> it's extremely bad that I'm doing this. Anyways, over the course of the game, two of these three girls will be able to move into town if you play your cards right and do a particular set of events. When you do that, they will give you special rewards. What those rewards are, we'll get over at a later time, but be sure to talk to them. They are very important. Marshall? Also, I should be checking off a list of the Kinsome Fusions I have done, but I'm not, and if I miss any, I'm sorry. What to do, what to do. I think for now, I'll actually carry on with our adventure. Come here, you. Damn it. I was looking for money! But let's go! Down south to the western wood. Be wary of the crows and trees, they will see their rupees. Also, what's over here? South Harrow Field. Oh, well, this is interesting. Chop, chop, chop. This just connects back, I suppose. Are we gonna get lucky? Give me a heart, please. I have faith in the cards that this is gonna be a heart piece. Come on. <laughs> it was a fairy fountain. I'm crazy. Alright, never mind. I disappointed myself. <laughs> oh, fuck. Why did I do this to myself? Don't you dare. Fuck. Twat. 
20 rupees, I'll take it. Uh, which we have to go... Ow, ah, oh, fuck. You'll be wanting to approach them from the side that doesn't have a weapon on it. It looks like there's an altar rock up here. What is this? Cast the to the north. Warning, Blush. Danger. Don't forget your Pegasus boots. And now for once, ooh, treasure chest, but we can't get the trees blocked. The trees blocking our path. I thought I was gonna get hit there. I fucking knew there was another one. <laughs> for now, I'll actually show you the thing about Cast the Wilds. So, this must be Cast the Wilds. It's a nasty, dank place, filled with swampland and mire. But we know there's an element waiting for us somewhere in here, so... In we go, come on, we're into the muck with us. I mean, sure, why not, right? Into the muck. Uh... Well, I don't think we can walk fast enough to cross the swamp. We're gonna have to find some way to get across safely. And so, like the sign said, we'll need Pegasus boots. You may recall in town there was a shoe shop. Actually, what do you call those shops? Also, archery mold then. No money, sad. Uh, no, no, no. Don't even think about it. Thank you. Bean. Mini shells. Ah, stump. Sure, what could go wrong? A cobbler, that's the word. A cobbler, the one who makes shoes, right. I planted a bean near my house, but it just doesn't want to grow. Okay, what if we leave and come back? Shame. So I could be crazy, but you know, there's supposed to be a kinstone fusion available here. Which is just, you know, proof of this game being amazing. You should be checking up on people, even if you talk to them already. All throughout your adventure, especially at the end. Or at any intermission state like this one. Where we're supposed to go to an objective, but we have all the freedom in the world to explore around. So at this time, the best thing for us to do would be actually go check out that cobbler's house. Where is it? Here it is. Hey -o. And your boy here fell asleep. Amazing, right? I know. This is the first time we've used a pot. I'm sure some of you may have noticed it, but now we are actually using it. And what's inside the pot? You guessed it, a plant. Boing, 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 and we're out. That's right! Even some human objects are portals to the Minish world. Those Minish may not look like much, but they are quite crafty. And interestingly enough, the shoes that were on the ground here are gone. So now we can head up. Hello! Hey, hey, you're winger, right? You're the one who brought the sword to Master Malari. What the fuck? Do the Minish just have a master news network that we aren't aware of? You're on a quest to help the princess, aren't you? I wish I could go on a quest, but then who'd make Rem shoes for him? Yep, the sleeping guy is named Rem. That's vitally important, do not forget. Oh, you need Pegasus boots? Why, you're just in time. We may it appear just now while Rem was sleeping, but only Rem can put the finishing touches on them. Haha, <laughs> that sleepy head Rem is nearly impossible to wake up. If you want to wake him, you need to get an item from Syrup Sun. Yep, it's the same witch, Syrup, from the fucking Link to the Past. It's a little bit of a trek, but we'll mark it on your map for you. All the way back in Minish Woods. You guys saw it, right? So, we have a new objective to go to. Syrup's Hut over in Minish Woods. That'll be fun. But it looks like we're all out of time for this episode, so... I will have to thank you guys so much for watching. And I encourage you to come back next time so next, to continue our adventure. So, thanks so much guys. See you next time. Bye!